From the WGLT Newsroom, I'm Lindsay Jones. The Bloomington City Council has delayed a decision on whether to designate Holy Trinity Catholic Church and its rectory a local historic landmark. The designation was recommended by Bloomington's Planning Commission weeks ago. Monsignor Jason Gray represents the Diocese of Peoria. He says the ordinance the City Council was considering gives too much authority to the city instead of the diocese which owns the property. It also tells me that the city is saying to the property owner, we don't trust you to manage your own property. And in that sense, I think it puts the Diocese of Peoria and the city of Bloomington in an adversarial position, and I would not recommend that. Council members voted 4-3 to three last night to delay a vote on the ordinance since two council members were absent. An Illinois State University professor who is of South Asian descent says the ethnic diversity in this year's presidential tickets may change how some South Asians view politics. Professor of Graphic Design Arshina Shakara says she hopes the emergence of Kamala Harris as the first presidential candidate of Indian descent and Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance's wife Usha will inspire others. But then of course it will change. It will draw new narratives. It will also bring in like little girls who are interested in uh, will look at perhaps Vice President Harris and and then be like, oh, I can be that person. So it, it will, of course, open up a lot more pathways. Shakara says she is part of a project in collaboration with the ISU Center for Civic Engagement that will encourage students to vote. And ISU's next Hispanic Heritage Month is focused on mental health. PhD candidate at Celestin Gonzalez is sharing some of what he's learned through research about how Latino authored graphic novels share the mental health journey. They're creating the conversations to like stop the stigma and make it more safe as in a safe space to talk about these issues and to normalize it. That conversation takes place today at 4 p.m. in Williams Hall on ISU's campus. And the Planned Parenthood Clinic in Peoria is now offering in-clinic abortions. After being firebombed in January 2023, the clinic was only offering the abortion pill and other services like STI and family planning. It reopened in May. I'm Lindsay Jones.